Yo, what it do? It's your boy J. Lou, and you are just in time for something new. All right, now in today's video, what I'm gonna be talking about is how to get instant curls from 360 Waves using the twisted up comb, you know what I'm saying? So with that being said, let's not waste any more time and let's get straight into the video. All right, now, if you guys don't know, uh, this product right here is called the twisted up comb. As you guys can see, it comes in a, a varying sort of colors. Uh, I think you can get black, green, yellow, red, and I believe blue. You know, I'll make sure I put the uh, link in the description of the website. The thing about this tool is the fact that it comes from a black owned company and the reason why they created it is because most of the time when it comes to our culture, uh, people either rock waves, they either rock braids, they either rock dreads, uh, but most people typically rock curls, you know? And when it comes to getting curls, you typically will see somebody with a sponge. They always have a sponge or whatever the case is. They put it in their pocket or whatever, and they always sponging their hair, basically twisting it up just to help their hair get in curls. Well, the reason why they made this joint is because as you can see, uh, it's interlaced and interwoven with, diff uh, with metallic uh, rings or whatever the case is. And the reason why they went with metallic as well as plastic is because this does not hold in bacteria. When you think about it, if you carry a sponge around in your pocket or if you have a sponge just laying around or whatever you use it fresh out of the shower most people don't know that bacteria is drawn to places that are damp wet as well as dark you know so if you put a sponge in your pocket you're walking around your body heat is going to produce sweat and it's going to basically uh create that moist and damp environment and because it's in your pocket it's going to be dark so there's going to be bacteria growing in it at the same time, most people don't really wash their sponges like that. You know what I'm saying? So uh, they, they figured they come up with this product because with bacteria, a lot of times you may not even realize or know that bacteria is growing on the surface mainly because of the fact that it doesn't always give off a smell or whatever the case is. And you may be struggling with dry, itchy hair. So uh, and a lot of people will think, oh man, I got to get a shampoo, blah, blah, blah. Nah, man, you need to dish the sponge and get with this joint right here. So that's enough of background. I'm going to go straight into how to get curls, instant curls with this joint. You know what I'm saying? So uh, let me show you what my way is looking like right now. I'm currently woofing for a very long time. This is in the midst or the middle, I should say, of me doing the 30 day no do rag challenge. So uh, my, my waves, for the most part, they're doing pretty well. And I just finished washing my hair. Uh, about maybe five minutes ago, you know, so that's how my hair is looking. But sometimes I'll be just wanting to rock curls, you know, so I'm gonna share those details after I go through and show you guys how to get curls with this with this joint about the reasons why you probably will want to rock curls and things of that nature. So let's not waste any more time. All right, now, whenever you use it, there's different techniques that you can use. You can basically use it in a circular motion just to go around your head and dig into it a little bit or you can use like a flick out technique where you go around and flick it out, you know, basically flick it out. I'll show you both of those different techniques. I prefer just using it where you just go around and dig into your hair and everything. But the first thing you wanna do is make sure you use a product, uh, some kind of moisturizer within your hair because there's no point in having dried up curls, you know, and at the end of the day, uh, your hair will look better and it will shine and pop a lot better as well. One of the things that you probably will notice though is if you use something like a butter, uh, it, it will probably give your hair a lot more definition or even a pomade. Now, at the end of the day, you can choose whatever kind of pomade that you wanna use. Me personally, a pomade that I like is HD Waves. I'll, I'll make sure I put a link in the description down below. And at the same time, when it comes to butters, uh, I typically go with the uh, uh, Remix butters or whatever. I'll make sure I put a link down in the description below with that as well. So with that being said, the first thing I'm gonna use is gonna be the Shea Moisture Low Porosity Leave-In Detangler, you know what I'm saying? The main reason why I'm using this is because it gives my hair that moisture that it needs. So what you wanna do is to take a little bit of it, put it into your hands just like that. You don't need a lot, you know, you don't need a lot. Probably like a dime-sized nickel, nickel and dime it, you know what I'm saying? Rub it into your hands. When you rub it into your hands, what you're gonna notice is it's gonna create that little white surface or glaze. And you just simply tap it around in your hair because you wanna make sure you distribute it throughout all of your hair. You know what I'm saying? You don't only wanna put it to one section of your hair and hope that it gets a uh, product there, you know? So uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is just simply rub it into my hair just like this, just to try to make sure I get it evenly distributed. I'm not gonna use a brush because there's no point, you know what I'm saying, right now. 
and you rub it into your hair basically to the point to where all of it disappears and you don't see any more of the product like the white looking effect onto your hair. What you will notice is you probably feel like it has some kind of slippage to it because the, the same moisture leave-in detangler uh, definitely allows your hair to be smooth. And when I mean slippage, I'm talking about if you put your hand as hard as possible and then you rub it, it gets to a point to where it'll like slide off, you know, so. All right, now the next thing you're gonna do, your hair has to be somewhat dry. If it's damp or if it's wet, this will not work. It'll work, but it works better when your hair is more so in a drier state, you know, so. With that being said, you simply just take the twisted up comb, and I, I'm right-handed, so I prefer to using it with my right hand and you just put it into your hair like this now you can hold it any kind of way sometimes i hold it like this sometimes what i do is i hold it like this as well simply because it gives me a lot more grip and control of it but you can hold it any kind of way that you want uh at the end of the day i typically start off like this and i just simply go into the circular motions just like this Now, one of the things about using this bad boy, like I said, there's two different techniques. You can simply just put it, dig it into your hair like this, and then simply rub it around in a circle. And the thing about creating curls this way is you wanna make sure you keep going in the same direction. So if you're going in this direction, you don't wanna start doing it the opposite way because if you do, it'll just unloosen the curls that you, tried to, that you already tried to do. So you gotta make sure that whatever direction you start in, you just keep going in the same direction like that. And what you will start to notice is it will make your hair curl up into like little curl balls, as you guys can probably start seeing now. Now, the second technique is basically taking it just like this. And when you do it, you just simply do it a, uh, a little bit of circuit motions and flick it out. And this is just try to create volume into your hair so that it won't be like pressed down or uneven in certain parts. But like I said, if you notice that your hair is not curling up and staying curled, most likely that may be a sign that your hair is still damp. As you guys can see, my hair is curling up, but at the end of the day, it's, it's not curling up all the way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just wait until it uh, dries up a little bit more. I'm gonna come back and finish this process and show you guys the, the end looks. All right, so I'm back and I've let my hair dry out as you guys can kind of see. You probably can't really tell, but, uh, uh, but to also give it some hold as well as some shine, I'm gonna be using the HD Waves uh, pomade like I told you guys in the beginning. This joint right here is an all natural product that you can use. Uh, I just take about a dime size amount like that, put it into my hand, rub it around. And the main reason why I'm gonna use the pomade is because it's gonna give my hair a little bit more hold and definition. So I just simply tap it around first. You wanna tap it just to try to make sure you get an even distribution all throughout your head like earlier. And then just start to massage it in. All right, now with that being said, you just simply take the twist it up comb again, and then just start to just twist up your hair. And if you do smaller circles, it'll give you better results instead of just trying to go all around like that. If you just do smaller circles, it'll give you way better results. Now, after about five or 10 minutes, as you guys can see, my hair has definitely curled up. Now, the thing is, if I want a lot more definition, I can just simply take the twisted up comb uh, with me throughout the day. The longer you twist it up, the more curlier your hair will look. Uh, and the thing I like about it is the fact that I believe this is the, the 2.0 version of it. The first one was smaller, 
the second one was a little bit bigger and i think the 3.0 uh instead of it having this points it in the 3.0 has a, a circle at the end of it you know what i'm saying so with that being said you can easily put this into your back pocket uh because of the size so with some pockets you may be able to put it in your front or whatever the case is but i think this concept is very dope it definitely gave me instant curls as you guys can see from my hair and all that stuff like that and like i said the more and more you use it just like a, just like a sponge or whatever the more and more your, your hair will uh, curl up and this is immediately after me washing my hair your hair typically uh loses definition whenever it is saturated with water so the more drier your hair becomes it finds that right balance point of moisture then the more definition your curls will basically look you know so uh, I basically had rock curls for like three days and by the second day that's when I really saw that they was like really just standing out popping you know what I'm saying and the reason why you may want to do this is at the end of the day as somebody that has had waves for a very long time period there are certain time periods where you do not care about brushing your hair uh, you don't want to wear a do-rag or whatever and you are probably wondering can I go from just rocking my waves to curls and how long can I do it? The longest I've ever rocked curls uh, without doing anything, I'm just talking about just rocking curls, not wearing a do-rag, anything like that, was five days. I went five days just keeping my hair in a curl state and uh, I basically made a video uh, how to get waves with Murray's where I, I bounced back from rocking curls during that process, you know, so I'll make sure I link that bad boy right up here if you want to watch it. But yeah, the longest I've ever went was five days and that's mainly just to give me time to not focus on brushing, you know, not having to worry about all the maintenance that comes with it. With the twisted up comb, this is easy. You can take this on the, on the go. You don't have to worry about any angles. And you know, like when, you, when you're trying to get waves, you gotta worry about brushing angles and making sure everything is aligned. But when it comes to curls, man, all you gotta do is just simply put this in your hand like this and twist it up. You know what I'm saying? So it just makes everything easier. I know for me, as a creative, uh, it takes away my energy whenever I'm focusing on how oh, I gotta do this, 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 and this. So sometimes I rock curls to give me a lot more freer uh, space in my mind to be able to think of different things, you know? So, but the last reason is because girls love the curls, man. At the end of the day, I get way more compliments when I rock my hair in a curly state than when I do it within a wave state, you know? So that's another reason why I rock the curls every now and then. And like I said, if you're a real one, then you ain't gotta worry about bouncing back. Uh, but hopefully this video helped answer your questions. The reason why I wanted to cop this bad boy is because I saw the video on Shark Tank and I also saw uh, the, the promotion of it on, on IG. So I'll make sure I put their information down below if you like the video make sure make sure you give it a thumbs up and i appreciate you guys for taking the time out today just to watch it it's your boy j lou with that being said salute when i hop up out the bed i stay brushing my way even on my way to work i stay brushing my way oh it's time for a break i stay brushing my way even when it get late i stay brushing my way i stay brushing my way I stay brushing my waves. I stay brushing and brushing.